Hello and welcome to FileHold video tour series. Today's topic will be discussing XML node extraction rules with eForms. I'm Renee Sauvé with FileHold Systems. Alright, so for today we're going to be doing an example with an HR form. We're going to be creating an application form for uh, metadata extraction. So we already have here uh, a, a bunch of fields that are using the content controls. Uh, here's the developer tab in, in Word, and uh, here are the content controls here. They're grayed out currently because there's already a content control here, um, but if I was to go to a different area, you could see here that they become active and you can use them. Uh, I have a text field, I have a date picker, there's also um, drop-down fields if you like to use drop-down fields. Um, a drop down list content control. There's a bunch of options here that you can use to create your forms. Um, if you need an example of our forms, uh, we do have them listed on our website. If I um, bring up our website, um, if you go to uh, filehold.com, features, uh, eForms, you can see here there's uh, four sample forms you can download and uh, practice with. So um, now that our form's created, we're going to go ahead and save that. And I'm going to close this form up in Word. And next thing we want to do is we want to open up in the Content Control Toolkit. And um, if you go to our website again and uh, use our search bar to look up XML node uh, extraction rules, um, you'll see here that uh, there's a fantastic step-by-step -step walkthrough for this. And here's the link to download uh, that content control toolkit. So it's, it's free and it's supported by Microsoft, um, but it needs to be downloaded from the site. I've already downloaded it, so I'm going to open up the content control toolkit. And then I'm going to open up that uh, application form that I just created in Word. Now you can see here, here are the content controls that we used in the word form. And what we need to do is create a unique namespace and a small XML file to map the XML nodes to the content controls. So um, over here in the bind view, I'm going to click, click here to create a new one. And I'm actually going to go in here and I'm going to create a new um, XML file. What you need to do here is we need to actually uh, give this form a unique namespace. Uh, why do we need to do that? Well, this is how FileHold recognizes the form in FileHold. Uh, so it'll look for that namespace and uh, here's a sample here. It's going to look for that namespace, this unique namespace, and it'll recognize it and it'll automatically extract those content controls from the form. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start creating the XML file. And like I said earlier, the form needs a unique namespace. And that is because this is how FileHold rec recognizes the form in FileHold and uses the um, extraction rule. So you can have as many forms as you like in FileHold, as long as they have a unique uh, namespace, FileHold will be able to recognize each and every one of those forms. So I'm going to call this employment application. Okay. So there's my unique namespace. I'm using the domain filehold.com uh, because it's unique to us. It's unique to file, so you can use your own no domain name there. Okay, and I'm just typing out the code. So I need first name. Yes. And I actually have um, the rest of this already typed out, so I'm just going to copy and paste that in. You could actually um, do this in an XML writer and, and copy and paste the information in, uh, or you can do it here in the XML, uh, or sorry, the Word Content Control Toolkit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check my syntax. Uh, no errors are found, so the code is good. I'm going to click OK. 
and I'm going to go to the bind view. So now we can see that here are all of my XML nodes and here are my content controls. So what I need to do next is I need to actually bind these together. So I'm going to drag this over to my last name and bind them. And it's, it's as simple as that. Um, this can be a bit tricky, so you just have to make sure that um, you're dragging and dropping the right uh, XML node to the right content control. This uh, content control toolkit can be a little finicky. So just ensure that you're grabbing the right things and dragging them in on the right content controls. Almost done here. You see there, I didn't grab that one properly. And there we go. So now that they're all bound, uh, what we need to do now is save it. And now we have this binding within the code of the actual Word eForm. I'm going to close this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open again. Because I just want to double check and make sure everything is still bound. And, and double check and make sure that you only have one a unique namespace. Uh, like I said, this could be a little bit finicky. So if it's not working, come back in here and check this and make sure one, it has one unique namespace and um, all of these are bound to the correct uh, XML nodes. So the content controls are bound to the correct XML nodes that you've created here in the little XML file. So that looks all correct. So I'm going to close this. I'm just going to close our content control kit. And what I want to do next is I'm going to go into file hold. So here's file hold. And I actually need to create a schema to map the information from my eForm into file hold. So I'm going to go to administration, manage schemas, document schemas here in the file hold desktop application. And I've already created one, so let's go in and have a look at it. I have an employment application schema, and it's an electronic document. Uh, membership, uh, remember that only those users who are in the current members group will be able to see documents of this type in file hold. And here are my metadata fields. So I've gotten uh, all of the metadata fields in that were in the form that I want to extract. So all that information that I want to automatically extract from the form, I've created those metadata fields for. Um, and then I've also created a workflow template. So once my application form has been brought into file hold and the data has been extracted. I want to initiate a workflow so that my the manager who's hiring for the position has a chance to review that job application and they can either approve or reject it to move on to the next stage in the in the process. So uh, I'm going to click OK and uh, my document schema has been created. And what I want to do now is I want to create my XML node extraction rule. So I'm going to go to Tools, Extraction Rules, and I'm going to create a new XML node extraction rule. I'm going to find that document, that Word eForm that I just completed editing in the Content Control Toolkit. Okay, so that's that template for creating the extraction rule, and this is where that unique namespace comes into play because this is how File Hold is going to recognize that particular eForm. So I'm just going to give it a name. Uh, you can see here it's a docx, so it knows, it recognizes that word eForm. I'm going to give it a description. My rule is enabled, so it's going to be in use. And I'm going to go and select that schema that I created for these employment applications. And what I need to do now is I need to map my metadata fields to my or the content controls in the form. So here 
is that XML code that I wrote. Okay, here is that unique namespace. Uh, there's a couple other options that you can use if you want. Um, there's some basic word information, so it tells you how many pages, the characters, number of lines, um, that sort of thing. Uh, there's also this one, it tells you when it was created, uh, who revised it, that sort of thing. But this is the, really the information we're looking for. So this is our unique namespace. And what we just need to do is we just need to map everything. So last name to last name, first name to first name, initial. And you just keep on going until everything's been mapped. Doesn't take long. Now you can see here, I have a comments field in my schema, and I don't have a comments field here. And that's okay, it doesn't need to be mapped. If you have additional fields in your schema that are not mapped to the XML node, that is fine. So I just wanted a comments field here uh, so that the uh, anybody looking at this application form can enter any comments that they like about the actual application in the metadata pane. So I'm going to click OK. All right, and um, here's my here's my rule, my employment application rule. So we can just open that up again, make sure everything's mapped. Yep, everything looks good. I'll click OK. I'm going to close my extraction rules window, and then I'm going to log off file hold. Uh, this just ensures that the rule takes effect. I'm logged back in. So there's a couple of ways we can add documents to file hold. We can go to the inbox. We can go to the actual folder that we want to add the documents in, or we can do it from our office application. So I'm going to open up Word, and I'm going to open up that form. And I'm going to actually fill this information out. And I'm applying today. I really hope they hire me. So you can see how easy this would be for someone to fill out a form online and email it to you. So I'm going to be able to work uh, starting May 1st. And I want to make $500,000 a year. And I want to be president. Okay. Uh, you can go through and you could fill out the rest of this information um, if you like. Uh, I'm not going to bother to do that right now, but I'm going to save this as a new form. So I'm going to call this Renee. So whoever um, is filling out the form, uh, you could have this on your corporate website. They can download it and email it to you. Uh, they could uh, use our guest portal to get uh, forms or anything that they need to fill out from your filehold guest portal. Um, there are several ways. You can email them the form. They can email it back. And uh, it just saves a lot of time. So now I've got my form filled out, and I'm going to actually use my add-ins. I'm going to add it directly from Word. I'm going to click the plus sign, and you can see here the information that I just filled out is now been extracted, except for that comments form. So you can remember that I left that I have added that comments form to the schema, but it was not a required field. Um, this is just in case anybody wants to enter any comments about. Uh, this application that they're reviewing. So I'm going to go to my home uh, human resources applications folder and I'm going to add this uh, application. 
So I'm going to have this document closed in Word before I add it to file hold. I can also delete the local copy. Um, I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, I'm just going to leave it on my computer. I could also email anybody who has subscribed to the folder to let them know that uh, a new application form has come in. So I'm going to click Add. And I'm going to go back to file hold. And uh, here's my application form. So I'm using uh, custom naming. So here's, you can see here it's a job application. Uh, this is the job that I'm applying for, my name, and the date. Uh, so this is how I had structured my custom naming on the schema. So what I'm going to do now is I actually want to initiate a workflow. So I'm going to, now that this document's been added in, I'm going to initiate the workflow and I'm going to send it to the manager for a review. And they can either give a go or a no-go on the next phase of the job application process. So I'm going to click Initiate Workflow. And uh, here's my workflow template. So um, this kind of gives you an idea how this is going to work. Um, it's getting sent to me. Uh, I'm the manager, just so happens, of this department and I have approval activity. So I'm gonna click OK. I'm gonna click off that workflow and it says I've in, uh, successfully initiated the workflow and click OK. And you can see here my tasks view has automatically uh, incremented by one. So here is that uh, job application that I need to uh, have a look at and either approve or reject to move on to the next phase. I can also go to my calendar. We can see here I have one task due if I click on that. It takes me to that document in my tasks view. Okay, so what am I going to do here? Is I'm going to have a look at that application. I said, oh well, that they look very good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to submit my approval. I, I approve this document, and I click OK. I'm going to enter my password. Uh, what's my password? Okay, and that task is now complete. And uh, if we go and look at this application form, let me just close this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add approval status. There we go. So we can see here, this has been approved. And so now the candidate for the job can now move on to the next phase in the job application process. Thank you for watching the Filehold video tour series. For more information, please contact us at sales at filehold.com.